All right, I'll show you a few pictures of uh, the, the living room that we put together. Uh, we had um, a, a fire load that consisted of uh, a sofa, uh, two chairs, uh, there was a, a heavy piece of our, uh, furniture in the back here, an armoire, um, and then there was a bookcase on the other side, a coffee table and an end table. And you can you can also see here the the, the thermocouple trees, the one that uh, is one third down, the one at the door that is shown here, and the one in the back that's shown there. And this black square here is one of the plate thermometers. So moving around, you can see the uh, there's a bookcase in the back, a TV, um, tube TV. Don't see those very often anymore, but. Uh, they uh, add more to the fire load than uh, uh, the flat screen TVs that are being used these days. So that's why we used one of those. Uh, this is sitting on a TV cabinet. And then we had another bookcase close to the, uh, the ventilation opening. Uh, this was a very heavy bookcase. Uh, the one in the back that you see there was uh, a little lighter. OK, so I have a video. The video is accelerated by a factor of eight. So you will see the first eight minutes and it's condensed to one minute. And then uh, then we'll skip and move directly to minute 28. And there's two more minutes that are condensed to, uh, you know, a few seconds. Uh, to, because from that point on, there's really not much happening anymore. So let's see if this works. So the ignition source is applied, 40 seconds later, so the sofa by itself was sufficient to create a flashover and then as soon as you have a flashover everything else starts participating and you you get a pretty pretty significant fire we also had a lot of smoke production and at some point we could not really keep up with uh, what was being generated so the whole the whole space for those there's a few, I noticed there are a few people that were actually there uh, to witness the test we had a, a smoke-filled lab for about 10, 15 minutes or so. So this is a, about half an hour into the test. And what you can see here is that we had this armoire here in the, in the back. So that was a heavy piece of furniture, a lot of wood. And then we have a, a bookcase in, in one corner here and then another bookcase in the front corner. These were the, the three piles uh, that, that kept on burning for quite some time. And uh, and you you will see what the implications are or what the, what the effect is of that. So this is two hours from ignition. Uh, we terminated the test at uh, at three hours. Uh, you can see that uh, the ceiling is in um, reasonable shape, except that we have some pieces of gypsum board that fell off. Uh, and the fire was definitely the most intense or the, the impact of the fire was definitely the most intense here. Uh, but the base layer was still intact. And as I mentioned, we have these two piles of wood in the back here that are that continue to burn for quite some time. So that's also two hours, but this is the what is left of the bookcase, the heavy bookcase that we had uh, close to the, the doorway. So after the test, you can see what's, uh, what's left. In the meantime, we lost a little more gypsum board off the ceiling. Um, and obviously, the temperature between the gypsum board and the ceiling might have been somewhat higher in this area where uh, a piece of the gypsum of the, uh, the face layer fell off during the test. Uh, but, uh, you know, 
you will see on the next uh, few slides that uh, the room was pretty much intact or the ceiling was pretty much intact. So this is it. You look at the ceiling, NLT ceiling, there's really no, no charring anywhere. Uh, but we did have some charring on the, on the walls uh, in this location here where the armoire was and, and then in this location where uh, one of the bookcases was located and then in front where the heaviest bookcase was there we had uh, the maximum damage um, but the chart depth uh, did not exceed a quarter of an inch here. So let's move on to the second test. The second test was very similar to the first test in terms of fire growth. The heat release rate was apparently a little lower, um, reached approximately five, five megawatts. It lasted a little bit longer. And uh, this test was terminated after two hours and 15 minutes. And I'll just show you a few pictures of the fire growth. Uh, so this is one minute from ignition. You can see that uh, this is pretty benign. You would be you easily put this out if you if you wanted to, but uh, you know three minutes later you're like this. So you don't really have a lot of time to escape from these types of fires. Um, I should say that uh, we we looked at the foam that uh, uh, polyurethane foam in in the furniture and uh, we, we basically put uh, polyurethane foam in there that was not treated with fire retardants and that had a relatively high density um, and that may not be exactly what you would have in your home but uh, it's sort of at the high end I suppose. And then at eight minutes uh, we have uh, as you can see, we're starting to build up uh, smoke in, in the lab, and that kind of lasted for another 10, 15 minutes. Uh, we had the same thing as in the first test, where uh, our bookcase, our heavy bookcase, close to the, the doorway was, uh, was burning for, for a long time. And then we... Uh, I have another picture here when we terminated the test. Uh, so again, we have a bookcase in the back that's still burning, a little bit of the, the TV stand here, and then there's another bookcase uh, behind the wall here in the back, uh, and not a, an armoire uh, or what's left of it. So that also kept burning for quite some time. So the temperatures here look very similar to the, the first test. Uh, again, we reached a peak temperature of about 1200 degrees C, 2200 F. And so the comparison with uh, ASTM E119 is, is very similar. Again, looking at the ceiling uh, temperatures, uh, we have uh, it's somewhat similar, although the temperature between the CL2, in this case, and the base layer of gypsum did not uh, increase very rapidly, not as, not as quickly as in the previous test. Uh, and also the, the peak temperature was, uh, was somewhat lower. In the previous test we reached 250, here it was probably around 230 degrees C or so. So this is what the, the room looks like after the second test was uh, terminated and we removed uh, the contents. Uh, again, we had a, a little bit of uh, gypsum board fall off the ceiling in the, in the same area as uh, the same area here as in the first test. And then when you remove all the gypsum board, you can see that uh, as in the first step, we had some charting where uh, there was a, a bookcase and things uh, continued to burn for, for some time. 
uh, although the chart depth was uh, was very minimal here, uh, less than in the first test. Um, this is, uh, I think it's the, the last slide. The, um, we did not have any penetrations in this test, uh, but we did have our uh, plate thermometers, as I, as I mentioned before, and uh, they were mounted on a, a pipe, a thermocouple that uh, in, the, in the plate thermometer goes through a, a pipe, a steel pipe, that uh, penetrated a wall. So you can see where that uh, was, uh, I think this is the back wall. Uh, you can see the amount of charring that took place where that pipe penetrates the, the wall. Uh, to conclude, I uh, so this is, concludes the presentation of the uh, the experiments that we conducted. But uh, uh, Kuma asked me to also show you a few slides of uh, uh, standard testing that was performed. Uh, there was an ASTM E119 test that was done on uh, the same type of CLT panel, five ply, approximately seven inches thick. Uh, in this case, it was protected with only one layer of Type-X uh, gypsum board on each side, and the uh, objective was to obtain a two-hour rating. And uh, it was very successful and resulted actually in uh, more than three hours. Uh, three hours until structural failure occurred and there was flaming on the unexposed side. So, and this test report is, uh, you can see the, the URL here, it's, a, it's available from this, uh, this link. So, the same system with one layer of gypsum board uh, performs very well in an ASTM E119 test. Uh, what we tested in the room was a, uh, um, a two or wood system that was protected with uh, two layers of uh, 5.8 step X gypsum board. Uh, 